वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाल ई एम प्रोफेसर वि वेंकटरमणारे डैरेक्टर ओरएंटल रिसर्च इंस्टिट्यूट इन दिस पेपर वी डेल्ट विद द वैदिक एपिक एंड पुराणिक कल्चर इन दिस मॉड्यूल द एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन महाभारत विल बी डेट अवर इंडियन एजुकेशन इज वैल्यू बेस्ड एजुकेशन एंड आलो अवर एजुकेशन so many people are thinking it is religious education no it is not really religious based and also this education is based on human values human rights and also ethics etc etc our education is a glorious education as vivekananda said that indian education will lead the entire universal and also we will become the beacon lights of india that's why we are saying in a very good sloka about the value of education vidya dadati vinayam vinaya dhyati patratam patratva dhanam apnoti dhana dharmam tatasukam this is the nutshell of indian education system na indian education system will not for the not for learning and also it is for the development of human values human rights and ethics also that's why in the in our education system finally we say in, in one nutshell sarve jana sukhino bhavantu sarve santu niramaya it is the big slogan in the indian education system and also in our upanishads we start with the excellent वेदिक चांट सहना सहनौ भुनक्त सहवीर्यम करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मा विदिशा वह दिश द नक्सल आफ् इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इट ईज आलो इन दिस मीनिंग सहना वी टू यदर विल लर्न द एजुकेशन वी टू यदर विल ईट द फुड अंड आलो वी विल डिस्ट्रिब्यूट अवर स्ट्रेंथ फॉर द एवरी बडी नाट ओनली एवरी बडी होल यूनिवर्सीटी दिस ईज द वैल्यू बेस्ड एजुकेशन आफ् इंडिया अंड आलो the education is classified in so many ways vedic education epic education and also mahabharata education and also laterally lastly we feel the modern education medieval education and also all education is based on value based in ancient indian education now we are going to learning objects introduction to the education system in mahabharata time gurukul system and arrangement what was taught in mahabharata era syllabus in ancient times introduction to education system in mahabharata time indian system of education is one of the oldest system of the world it means indian education begins from the vedic period about 5000 years before and also indian education system is excellent education system in vedas also they trusted the education in so many ways especially in vedas there are 32 vidyas according to vedic knowledge there are 32 vidyas are there these 32 are defining various knowledges in the ancient times both the secular and sacred education was handed over systematically by formalizing system of education education in india started many years before 5000 bp bc many years before sri ram age or one can say that vedic knowledge came along with the human civilization as menu here we mention the name of rama because rama is one of the ideal person because we are, now we are called rama rajya in rama rajya also there are they given importance to the education system that's why veda brahmo api sobitam ramayana and also ramayana and mahabharata essences of veda education in india had a deep impact in upliftment and advancement of early society and all over the development as already i told in my first verse vidya it is not for the only for learning it is the human development through getting the knowledge by education one must get the character by getting the character and also wealth finally we get the salvation also it is the value based and meaningful education of our indians india is ratnagarbha with a rich tradition of knowledge and learning why because we are calling ratnagarbha the language sanskrit is the it is the mine of knowledge 
version of knowledge in this sanskrit language they taught so many so many issues so many lessons so many subjects that's why india is called ratnagarbha there are several literary sources such as vedas and other hindu texts and scriptures which offers references about the education system of the ancient societies in this matter we call indian text means the first beginning from the vedas upanishads and also puranas sutras shrutis in various fields also we there are so many references about the education in in our ancient scriptures gurukula system arrangements it is one of the main and important arrangement for the education system now also our modern governments also starting gurukula schools what is the meaning of gurukula schools gurukula schools especially established in the hermitages in the banks of rivers it means that gurukula means gurukula means a university in raghuvamsa also it is called nirdishtanam kulapatinam a word he is used in kalidasa nirdishtanam kulapatinam in this context kulapati means those who teaches who feeds the the 10000 people without any fees that is called in the vedic literature we said the nishulka vidya free education that is gurukula vidya nirdishtanam gulapatanam that is a word by used by the mahakavi kalidasa in in raghuvamsa about the gurukula system girls got their education from only women sages called rishikas and brahmavadins boys got their education from rishi in this vedic period everybody would go to guru's house to study there were some day students too students from far off places would live in the gurukula's house and also now we are using a word boarding student or residing student and outer students in the same manner in gurukula system also there are day students and that the resident students also there now we are following the system of ancient education system now also the perspectives were two classes namely acharyas and upadhyayas in this context i want to say something about acharya and upadhyaya acharya means he is glorifies the matter everything he is glorifies the matter if we they, they read one some sutra it is called brahma sutra and also atha atha to brahma jignasa in this con- context acharya glorifies the matter in the sutra form but guru simplifies the matter that is the difference between acharya and guru according to ancient literary text the acharya perform the upanayana ceremony of the student then teaches him the veda along with the ritualistic literature and the upanishads in this context there is a mantra also astavarsham brahmanam upanayita tamajjapayita that is the beginning for the education in the ancient times yeah people should do. confidently draw the attention of the teacher to any wrong going of the rules meant for him either purposefully or unconsciously mahabharata mentions that students are allowed to desert his teacher who is arrogant ignorant of his duty and resorts to a wrong course of action in this context there is one shloka from our puranas there is nirdishtam kulapatinam evam vartate tatra sadhu sangatyam guru hu shishya sangatyam in the mahabharata period the people staying under the kanpai kanpai means chhatra of any particular pandit as the people were under the control of within the jurisdiction of one pandit with one school of thought they were known as chhatra chhatra means one who is under the control of jurisdiction of a school of thought during the mahabharata period of one guru in this context there is a one mention not only nowadays in the mahabharata time also there are specializations are there in the mahabharata beginning itself there is one conference called satra yaga satra means a knowledge education this conference held nearly 12 years 
in this period maharaja invited all the pandits all the gurus all the sishyas sent from the whole world and also conducted a conference on various faculties that is called satrayaga that is one of the biggest occasion of education in mahabharata gurukula system arrangements specialist gurukulas there were specialist in every branch of learning cultivated in the ta specialist in each of our four vedas now here they mention that specialism means the to learn the knowledge to learn the vedic knowledge there are six parts is there one is shiksha kalpa vyakarana nirukta jyotish chandas without knowing these six parts one cannot learn the veda that's why in the period of mahabharata also to teach the vedas before teaching the vedas student must learn the sharangas in sacrificial literature and art of kalpa sutra in the chandras metric shabda vyakarana nirukta there were also logicians knowing the principles of nyaya and the dialects the now dialects means now linguistics is called the dialects also now we are we are seeing so many vyakarana teachers linguistic teachers literature teachers sahitya teachers that's why in the period of mahabharata also there are special branches of learning is there the art of establishing proposition of solving doubts the accepting conclusions there were also specialists in the physical science and art experts in the art of construction sacrificial arts of various dimensions and shapes basis of a knowledge of solid geometry those who had knowledge of the properties of the dravya guna of physical process and the their results of causes their effect geologists have a special knowledge of monkeys and birds it was thus a forest university where the study of every available branch of learning was cultivated hermitage of rushi bharadwaja at prayaga or at the atri chitrakuta was a center of learning vedas gurukula settlements the hermitage of kanwa was a famous center of learning of which a full of description it is situated on the banks of malini a tributary the saryu river it was not a solitary hermitage but an assemblage of numerous hermitages around the central hermitages of rushi kanwa and the presiding spirit of the settlement the hermitage of vyasa was another seat of learning there vyasa taught the vedas to his disciples those disciples were highly blessed sumanta vaisampayana jemini great wisdom and paila of a great ascetic merit they were afterwards joined by the suka the famous son of vyasa evidence of Guru, gurukulas the mahabharata tells of numerous hermitages where people from distant parts gathered and instructions around some far framed the teachers a full page ashram is described as the consisting of several departments which are numbered as following agnisthana the place for fire worship and prayers of brahmanasthana the department of veda vishnusthana the department of teaching of rajaniti etc mahendrasthana military section vivastasthana department of astronomy somasthana department of botany garudasthana section dealing with the transport and the conveyance kartikeyasthana a section teaching military organization how to form the patrolling bottling and also army in this context now also we are following the same system now in our universities we see, we see there are so many departments like the astronomy astrology botany zoology etc in the same manner in the time of mahabharata also there are specialized branches to learn the knowledge brahmacharya system the brahmacharya system is the one of the 
main and the principal system to learn the education. Only Brahmachari can go to the school and then learn the lessons from the Guru. In the Brahmachari Ashrama only, we have to study the education like Veda, etc. That, so, Brahmachari Ashrama is the very prominent Ashrama in the education. In entire rigorous self-discipline and self-control, all sorts of pleasure and luxuries must be avoided by the people. That's why we are called Kuto Vijardina Sukam. There is no happiness during the period of education. That's why we are saying Vijardi should learn the discipline. Through the discipline only he can learn the knowledge of Vedas, etc. Some of the occasions on which termination of study was prescribed include dusty storm by, storm by day cries of animals, screech of the owl, heavy downpour, rattle of thunderbolt, earthquake, eclipse, fall of meters, festival, certain tithi or nakshatra, that's why full moon, no moon, days of education. Samavartana marks the end of the people's, people of study and return to the home. In this context, I want to mention something about the Samavartana. Nowadays, we are called the Samavartana means Snatakotsava. Snatakotsava means convocation. In ancient time also, we see in Mahabharata, in Vedic period also, there are convocation of Snatakotsava. Now also, we are following the same system in the Snatakotsava system. What they said in the Mahabharata and Vedic literature, in, in Snatakotsava, students should pledge something about the education in that context. Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava, Acharya Devo Bhava, Atiti Devo Bhava, Yan Nyanavadjani, Karmani, Tani, Sevitavyani, no Itarani. It is the pledge from the Vedic students also. Now also in the time of convocations, Snatakotsavar, we are, we are following the same system. That's why we know that the, in the period of Vedic and Mahabharata also, convocation was there. According to some literary sources, education in ancient India was confined only to the privacy of the preceptor's home. In the matters of education in ancient societies, the constricted barriers of the caste system seemed to have crumbled down as per the various literary texts. Guru Dakshana As already I mentioned in my previous talk, in Gurukula system, in the Mahabharata and other texts also, Nisulka Vijja is there. Nisulka Vijja means free education. Now also as government forming the welfare schools for the educations, that's why in Mahabharata also, the schools of free education was there. That is called Nisulka Vijja. Education at that time, of time was free because no student was required to pay any fee. It was free also because no outside agency could interfere in the matters of education. There was perfect autonomy, no external authority to external beneficiary, no politics was permitted to enter the school or college system. A student had to pay nothing in return for education. He received in a gurukula or a ashrama. Access to good education depended not on the wealth but on the talent. The students was expected if de desired but never compelled to offer a field. Cow, horse are the elements of the daily needs to his teacher according to his financial position in the society. The education could not be brought, one could go up the ladder as his abilities permitted. In Mahabharata, we can see instances like Drona asking Arjuna to capture Dra Drupada as a Guru, Guru Dakshana. Thampramda Ekalavya is sought at Guru Dakshana. Karna was given the free education from Parasurama. Tries that were taught self-control. Development of character, that's why Vijya, Vinaya Sampanni, Brahmani, Gavihastani, Svanichaiva, Svapahacheka, Pandita, Samadarsanaha. This is Sloka from Mahabharata. Mahabharata, there is Bhagavad Gita. That Bhagavad, in that Bhagavad Gita, this Sloka utters. The educated man feels the 
ईक्वालिटी इन आल ह्यूमन बीइंग सुनिचे इवर स्वपा के चा ही विल सी द इक्वल इन द डॉग एंड आल्सो पंडित प्रकाश ऐसा पंडिता समदर्शन हाँ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कैरेक्टर जेनरेशन ऑफ सोसाइटीबिलिटी और सोशल अवेयरनेस इंटीग्रल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पर्सनालिटी प्रोपगेशन ऑफ प्यूरिटी प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ नॉलेज एंड कल्चर सिलेबस इन महाभारत का टाइम इन द फर्स्ट फेज दे वुड लर्न द ग्रामर देन जनरल नॉलेज ऑफ डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स आफ्टर दिस दे वुड लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग वेरियस वेपन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द एबिलिटीज दोज हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग द शास्त्रास वर टॉट देन द गुरुस वुड मेंटेन देयर गुरुकुल्स बाय बिगिंग फ्रॉम द पब्लिक द स्टूडेंट वर इन टर्न मेंटेन बाय द चतुष्पतीस knowledge that were taught dharma sutras particularly those of gautama and apastamba and the manusmriti as the first phase of learning one should be taught grammar students would memorize the things uttered by the gurus in this context i want to mention something about the students concentration for the for the best qualities to the students is shravana manana nidhyasana first he must listen the lesson properly next manana it is thinking nididhyasana concentration these three must must for the students for the learning of vedic education and also you see there is a verse in vasishta ramayana also jnanam samyagaveshanam dvokramo chittanasasya yogo jnanam charagava yogastat vridhirodo hi jnanam samyagaveshan through calmness to the concentration and also by performing the yoga students should get the knowledge students would memorize the things uttered by the gurus logic nyaya social code smriti samskruta grammar and the science of spirituality were included in the education curriculum of then period in this context spirituality means vedic education for the learning of vedic education and the, and also about brahmans one should learn the elementary knowledge from the uh, for the getting the knowledge of veda elementary means you see in every sutra in every brahma sutra or mimamsa sutra or nyaya sutra bhakti sutra yoga sutra every sutra starts from the atha what is the means of atha atha means after getting the elementary knowledge elementary knowledge means shravana manana nididhyasana etc so that student must get the nididhyasana shravana manana etc in the period of mahabharata there was spiritual teaching there were books for the study medium of instruction in mahabharata period in the mahabharata is education was given to the medium of sanskrita the vedical language was a dead language then the people's language was prakruta but the teaching was not in the prakruta medium books in prakruta were also very few generally people did not write in prakruta the prakruta language was reformed and the language which came into the being out of the prakruta re reformation was named sanskrita economic support of education during the mahabharata age the pandits who were teaching in the chatushpatis they were helped both by government and by the public people considered it to be a sacred deed to help the chatushpatis they offered food clothing etc this was something spontaneous each pandit was the conductor of one ch chatushpati and there was no such thing as a university each pandit set up his educational system and the curriculum according to his wishes and his own teachings each students belonging to a chatushpati was the adapter the dharaka supporter vahaka and the patron pariposhaka of a particular thought students connected to different panditas has considerable variation in their knowledge in the mahabharata period the university system was set up by the people caste system in education brahmana kshatriya vaisya and sudra and pariha these are the systems occurred in the mahabharata caste in education system brahmana kshatriya vaisya in the vaidika era there was 
division by caste, but there was no casteism at all. But during the Mahabharata period, there was both caste division and some sense of caste or casteism. Intercaste marriages were customary, and in one family, someone might be Vipra, someone a Sudra, someone a Vaishya, as mentioned earlier. Casteism had not yet entered. Those who had ability for the use of weapons would study materials of arts more than the scriptures. Even a person born in the Vipra family could study the use of weapon more than the scriptures he was interested. For example, th there was Drona who, though born in the Vipra family, was an expert in the operation of weapons since he was a interested in them. But the born Vipra family lost respect, they became very skilled in the use of weapons. Society and education. There is also a close link between the educational system and the social system. That is, the society wanted persons coming from the Kshatriya families to be except in the military skills as it was the duty of the Kshatriya to defend the country. The social system was that only the Kshatriyas were to defend the country if invaded it resulted in a great weakness of the society leading to the defeat of India when invaded by the outsiders forces 2000 years after the Mahabharata when the majority of Kshatriyas has been killed causing a great reduction in the Kshatriya number. Sharangas were the main syllabus to lend the knowledge of Vedic and also Upanishads etc. Without Sharangas one cannot lend the knowledge of Veda. So, in the time of Mahabharata and Ramayana also, the special schools were mentioned about the Sharangas, Siksha, Kalpa, Vyakarana, Nirutta, Jyotishan, Chandas. And also, importance of education mentioned in so many times in the Mahabharata times. Without education, there is no moral values, ethics and also. That's why in the Mahabharata, there is one reference. Those who had not the important knowledge, they were called animals. Murugas charanti manusha rupena and also vijya vihina pasubis samanaha vijaya amrutamasnate ya vijya sa vimuktaye vijya for salvation. Not only here, not only salvation means as religious context is not moksha. For the entire thing, loka samastha sukino bhavantu, that is the principle of Indian education. Sarve santu niramaya ha sarve vadhani pasyantu ma kasyat bukkam apnayat. Nobody suffers from any evils. Everybody should be happy. That is the system, that, that, that is the human values projected in the Indian education. That is the important of Indian education. Conclusion. The ancient system of education was well structured and purpose oriented. This system yielded best results for the generations down the ages. Teachers were guided their disciples in both spiritual and professional skills. Students have great faith and gurus and totally surrendered to them. The purpose of education is to serve the four, dha four dharmas of life. Final goal of education to attain the salvation. In this context, I want to mention a excellent sloka for the education. Keyurana vipusha yanti purusham vajana chandrudvala nasnanam na vilepanam na kusumam yasam skutad dharyate. One yeka samalankaro tipurisham ya yasam skuta dharyate. This is the verse by the Batruhari. Only flowers, ornaments will not the glorify the human value. Only education will give the shine to everybody so that one must lend the education with dedication. Thank you.